everybody and welcome to Naturally Kim's Knitting. I'm Kim and this is just my podcast about knitting and family and chatting with my friends. So, and I do consider all of you my friends and I'm so happy that you joined me today. I'm in a happy mood because I just talked to my granddaughter and a little bit with my grandson and so it makes me in a happy mood whenever that happens. So, um, see, family talk. <laughs> Today is March 15th, 2022. Guess what? It's almost St. Patrick's Day. I like that day. I, li I like St. Patrick. I like his story. So, anyways, um, and this is episode number 274. Now, you can find me online on YouTube, Blogger, WordPress, and Facebook as Naturally Kim's Knitting. On Ravelry, on Napier's Knits. And natural, and we have a group that's naturally Kim's knitting podcast group, and on Instagram, I'm knitting underscore Kim. Now, right now, you're not going to see me much on Facebook or Ravelry or in, I'm sorry, Facebook or Instagram, <coughs> not even Twitter, um, because for Lent, I'm trying to cut. I was trying to eliminate it, but I've been trying to keep in touch with Myla and seeing how she, her and her family are doing, and so. That's the only thing I get on Facebook for, is to check on Myla. I, you know, I, I write her notes in Ravelry, and I do have her email, but, you know, yeah. Anyways, and those of you who don't know, Myla is another, uh, is a design friend of mine. I do a lot of um, pattern tests for her, and uh, she hasn't done one for a while, but, she, you know, I understand. With everything going on in Ukraine, she was from Ukraine, and she has family and friends that are still there, and she's put together um, some fundraisers. She's put links as to different ones that she knows are legitimate. So, yeah, and anybody who buys a pattern from Myla's Knit Corner, 100% um, of that money is going to help those in Ukraine or the refugees. <coughs> got that out of the way because I wanted to make sure that I said this so I didn't forget I actually bought four patterns over the weekend then I found some exciting news but I don't know if I'm allowed to share it yet I think I better wait <coughs> until, I get, until I'm giving the all clear so when talking to my daughters they have classroom check-ins every morning um since they're homeschooled, they do it online. They check in with their teachers and everything. And they have they have a general teacher who tells told them that today is natural speech and nap day. And so I told my granddaughter, I said, well, doing a podcast is like kind of like giving a speech. And if I talk for too long, I may want to take a nap afterwards. So perfect day for me. <laughs> okay. Now, um, along with doing this podcast, I, I am an affiliate with Nitpicks and Michaels. And I do want to let you know, I am so tickled. I actually bought two skeins of yarn because they have Felici on sale until the 24th. I love Felici. And if you love Felici, this is a great sale. So I bought um, two skeins each for $6.99. So I only wanted to buy, I didn't want to buy a lot, but I do love Felici, so I'll put it aside. And that will probably go either to the women's shelter or the men's. I haven't decided yet. It's kind of an orangish color. I thought of Tobias when I bought it, but <coughs> I'm sorry, I got a frog in my throat. Um, they also have, as usual, all their berry yarn. If you buy it in bulk, 15% off. And then Michaels has, a, this was like the headline of their, I got a bruise on my arm. I don't know where I got it from. Um, I looked at the front of their ad or their webpage and they're, they announced that 40% off of Spring Floral by Ashland. And that all yarn right now is get buy one, get one 50% off. So if you see a yarn at um, Michael's that you thought, oh, I might want to try that, but I need two skeins, it's a good time. I do appreciate if, if you're going to shop at Nitpicks or Michael's that you go over to ksnapier.blogspot.com um, and take a link there. You may have to cut and paste, but it's still there. And that gives me a couple pennies to put towards gift cards. 
And if you're new, you may say, gift cards? What is she doing with gift cards? Or why would I want to help with that? <coughs> I don't know why. Um, well, we do knit-alongs. And with my knit-alongs, I offer a $10 Knit Picks gift card and a ten or a $10 Michaels gift card or um, any giftable pattern for up to $10. And uh, isn't that nice how I segued into this? Anyways, uh, so it, you, when you shop at Michaels or Knit Picks and you go through my link, it gives me a few pennies to help pay the gift buy the gift cards. So anyways, um, for all the all my craft alongs, um, I offer two prizes when I have the drawing. Drawing is done by random number generator, but the winners can choose from one of the three things. Only one pattern though. Even if I mean if you bought a two ninety nine pattern, sorry, that's all you get to buy. But if you buy a ten dollar pattern, there you go. So now that I've mentioned craft alongs. Let me tell you what we have going on. We have our fa finished object craft along for February and March. This is for any craft. You know, I, my friend Janie and my friend Jenny and my friend Luann are very good crafters, but they never enter my drawing. My brother does woodwork, and I don't have a rule saying he can't enter it. My sister crochets and she does other handiworks. She never enters. I just don't understand. I would if I if it weren't for me, but you know, I it would be weird for me to enter and then win, so you know, not gonna do that. <coughs> so for our finished object one though, it goes through Jan from February through March. And then on April first I we close it. Well, I should tell you how you enter. You take a picture of your finished object, go over to the Ravelry thread of Naturally Kim's Knitting Podcast Group, look for the correct thread, and enter your picture there. And if there's a pattern name, please include that. Um, if not, you don't have to put a pattern name. Anyways, now, so uh, on April 1st, I close it. And however many entries there are, I go to random number generator. generator and let's say I have 14 entries, which I always have more. I would put 1 through 14 and let it do its thing and the first two different names they give me. For example, if my dog Ginger entered something and she entered several things and it gave me her name twice, she could only win once. So that's the way I do it with everybody. So that person then has 14 days to contact me and let me know which prize they would like. Okay? Now, that was my finished object. Now, I also offer this month a March and April baby or toddler craft. And it's basically the same thing. You just, um, if you finish a baby or toddler, usually they say if they're toddler, um, take a picture of it, um, put it in the correct thread, and on March, or March, May 1st, I'll close that thread down, take pictures, and, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, close that thread down, use random number generator, pick winners, two winners, and once again, they would have 14 days to contact me and let me know which prize they want. I've been making bread. Sorry, I just looked down. I made bread yesterday. I've taken a shower. I've washed my hands several times, and I just, and I still have bread dough on them. I like making bread. I'm doing it a new way, but I'll talk about that later. <coughs> so, um, if you happen to win one of the gift cards, so I do appreciate if you go over to ksnapier475.blogspot.com com, and uh, spend your gift cards through there. Now, looking ahead, since I'd already announced the March and April craft along, but I still feel like I really want to do something to show I support um, Ukraine. In May and June, we're going to do blue and yellow knit along. So you can, whatever you knit has to have blue and yellow in it. Okay? So I will have to see about that. On 
my needles. I put down in my show notes, I have an Advent sock on my, oh no I don't, I wrote the reason. I do not have an Advent sock on my needles right now. And that's because I am working on a pattern test, or a test pattern, for um, my friend Kelly Menzies of Row Row and Cades. <coughs> Lovely lady, I love her podcast. I'm not going to show you the sock because I do not remember if this is a super secret. But, see if you remember way back when, when I dyed this beautiful purple variegated, I guess, yarn. It was made out of purple Kool-Aid. No, it doesn't smell like purple Kool-Aid anymore. Um, so, that's what color I'm using for her sock. It is a sock pattern. I laugh, though, because this ball of yarn gave me such headaches. I used my ball, my skein winder and my ball winder, whatever, to wind this up, and it wound it up weird, number one, which I should have undone it right then and just wound a ball. So it wound it up weird, made it all floppy instead of, I didn't bring the other one over here, instead of a nice, I don't really have one over here at all, <coughs> instead of a nice, um, you know, like yarn winders do. It was all, this one was all floppy and it's all, you know. And when I started to knit from it, I was going along fine. Then all at once it got to be a tangled mess. So, I, <laughs> this was really weird. So I untangled enough to make what I thought was the sock. And I didn't even make it to the heel. So, <laughs> so last night I had to finish untangling the yarn. Oh, that was a headache. Okay, then, oh, I had to think where it was at, because I put another sock in with my soup kitchen socks, and I only have one of them out here, but the other one must be in my bedroom. I don't know that I've gotten a lot, did I work on this at church? Yeah, I worked on that at church last week. I mean, I worked on it when I was volunteering, as usual, when I took it out, I dropped a stitch. Just give me a moment here. There we go. No, that wasn't it. Sorry. I know how to fix drop stitches. I'm just not doing this right. Okay, well, anyways. <laughs> here it is. The other one isn't any farther. <laughs> and this is Heart and Soul. I never did find out the color name. But um, I love how it works out. I love how these little white lines in here, how they're working up. And I always love to see how heels end up. So, yeah. Ta-da! That's my soup. That will be a soup. That will be um, for the men's shelter, I'm pretty sure. Not that women don't like brown. I'm going to try and go back and forth as much as I can. So there's that. Oh! So, oh, I should have brought it over. I finished the front of my wicker work sweater. And if you remember, when I finished the back, I said, this does not look right the, like the right dimensions. It wasn't. So I ended up tearing out the back. And so, then I got the pattern test. So I'm down to the ribbing. I've got three rows of ribbing done. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. I really will go back to that as soon as my the pattern test is done. I just really want to get the sock done and it does have a deadline. <coughs> so, and then, oh, this should have been in the finished items. Because last night, when I was in bed, I don't like binding off when I'm in bed, but I did an okay job last night. My pair of socks, they are all done. So they should have been in the finished object, but I put them in the wrong place. Sorry. So these are by Knitting Expat. The yarn is by Goldie and Finch Red, that's the color, by Chickadee Fiber Arts. So yay, I got another pair of socks, because these are for me. The Knitting Expat sock clay I'm making for myself. And then, my temperature afghan. If I remember right, last week, I was like to the 9th of January, 
And with a little bit of knitting I've, I've been able to do on this, <coughs> I've been able to get to the 16th. So it's a little bit longer. Right now we're still in the same temperature zone, so the colors are pretty much the same. When I get to the middle of March, the, the colors will change a little. So, yeah. So that's my temperature afghan. And somebody had a question about what stitch. What, what stitch am I using to make this? Well, what I did, I just wanted something that was similar to a rib. So I pulled out my knit stitch dictionary. And I started looking through all the different ribs. And I loved the mistake rib. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if it's going to show. But it's not difficult. And uh, I really like how it's turning out. So if you're interested, let me know. And I can always write the stitch in the, in, in the show notes next week. But yeah, I'm really liking how it turns out. And actually, I'm thinking about doing one for my son soon. So, let's see. That's all that's on my needles, except for the pair of socks, which should have been with the Advent sock from last week. I finished it. I'm not sure. See, I would have liked this better <coughs> if I either did a contrast ribbing heel and toe, or if I made this the contrast. I'm not crazy for this as the entire color. I've got more of it and I think what I'm going to do is use it as a contrast. Because I don't know. I just, I'm not crazy about it like this. So, that's everything on my needles. Finished objects, which Paris needs to go down there. Books. I've been reading a book. I just finished the book See Us for Christmas. It's a Christian book. That's because I was doing a contest in um, Goodreads, and you needed to, you get a point for every, for each name in the author's name, each, the first letter of each name in the author's name, for, if it began with W. And there was actually five W's because there's two authors. And so I read that for, for that. But then I'm reading, I think it's called Stitch in Time. And I'm just, you know, kind of, Whenever I have a few moments, I pick it up and read it. I'm not really in a hurry, so I haven't finished it. So, anyways, but I am reading that one. I've done a review on a couple, maybe. I can't remember if I actually put... I usually only do reviews on NetGalley books, which is ridiculous, because I read other books. But, um, yeah, <coughs> I need to get back to doing that with all the books I read. Knit in Time is actually a NetGalley book from years ago, and I think I reviewed it once already, because I remember reading it. But, you know, sorry about hitting my camera. Okay, so I already mentioned about Myla's Knit Corner. She has a couple places if you're interested in donating to help Ukraine, and one is United Help Ukraine, all one word, unitedhelpukraine.org. And another one is www.facebook.com backslash back and alive. So, and then, I haven't turned on the news today because I wanted to do this and so the news makes me very serious and maybe, you know, I wanted to smile today. <laughs> I will turn on the news in a minute because, especially since I know somebody who has family and friends there, when I watch it, I'm knitting. I'm praying. So, but to end on a high note, <coughs> weather today, yesterday, today, tomorrow, and I believe the next day, we're supposed to be so nice and warm. And I go out with the dog yesterday and today. All I need when I go out there is a light sweater. So, so tickled, but it makes me want to get my fingers in the dirt. But that's okay because we have trees that are budding. We have two peach trees, two pecan trees. My little apple tree is not going to do anything. Pear tree probably is not going to bud this year. Um, I haven't looked closely at it. I have elderberries. I have currants. Everything, everything is budding. 
Then I looked out, and I have tulips that are sticking up, daffodils, hyacinths, jonquils, all those things. Won't be long till I'll have flowers. Maybe I'll have to take pictures and make sure you guys see them. Because, oh, you know me. I love taking pictures of my garden. So anyways, um, keeping this, I'm trying to keep this reasonable length because, you know, I always put pictures at the beginning and the end. I don't know how many of my grandkid pictures I'll put in the beginning today, but you'll know, you'll, if you've made it this far, you've already seen them. But I will put a picture of each of the things that I'm working on right now at the end. So that always adds time. Anyways, I hope all of you guys have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful week. I hope all of your craftiness is successful and that you don't make any mistakes. But if you do make mistakes, I hope they're little ones and they're easy to correct. Oops, I love you all. Get my whole hand in there. Big, big hugs. Take care. And God bless. And I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.